Hey Gavox here. So Team of the Week and Market Monday today. Who are we getting for Team of the Week? Let's find out. We got Andre Johnson already and his opponent in the ring is... Oh, fight! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Finnegan's coming! Yeah! Take his helmet off! Fuck him up! Oh, yes! Yes! The rivals! The rivals! We're getting Finnegan. Okay? An interesting... I don't remember him in Mutt ever. I guess I should probably like zoom in a little bit here. But Corlin Finnegan, 90 speed, match him up. They better have like some sort of this would be great for like the heroes and villains program if we get that shit from Mutt Heroes again. Cortland and Andre going at it. Uh but 90 speed form, 98, 89 acceleration, sorry, not 98, 88 agility. Uh with the other stats above. Man coverage, zone coverage, press. So pretty solid all around, especially if you end up chem boosting him. A little bit another corner and then the other one is Mike Allstott I know Tampa Bay fans are just uh, like loving this card he's the beast he's been in Mutt before but he's kind of inconsistent with what years he's in it so a fullback that just you know he's got actually pretty decent speed uh impact block lead block both solid run by uh, of course impact blocks like the biggest thing for that because you need the impact and the stick for a second then the, the block shed doesn't matter as much because by the time they block shed after that impact you're kind of just already running past them. But as long as they don't uh, immediately block shit on the impact, you're okay. Or sorry, the lead block impacts for defenders. Anyways, solid, versatile card. Catching 74 ain't the greatest. But um, from my knowledge, a lot of guys hang on the ball basically the same. So catching doesn't really matter. At least that's what I've seen. So anyways, those are Team of the Week coming tomorrow. Traditional Team of the Week content that we've got in the last few weeks. I don't know. I'm loving it. I'm liking those uh, legends worked into Team of the Week. I know some people have their very specific... Um, objections to it having just legends in addition to regular players we'll have what, what the, the team of the week set cards in addition to the le limited which is like a current day player uh from the previous you know flashback time otherwise there you go who knows what else we're getting obviously i don't really do predictions as ea just kind of chooses whoever they want there's obvious guys that you think it should get it like jefferson should probably get an upgrade but he doesn't have a power up so i don't know if he will um who else had a great week there's a few that went off. Why am I playing on their names? I'm just not a smart person. Um, but uh, I watched a lot. Had a lot of big games. Who the fuck else had a big game? I don't don't matter. You guys let me know in the comments who you guys get, are going to think. So anyways, what I want to talk about though, um, and the point of this Market Monday is a few points. Making coins, right? We talked about, and people gave me feedback today. They're like, hey, that theme builder tip that you said, you know, when the packs come out and making these 86 overall team builder cards made hundreds of thousands you know one person said 300,000 other person said 500,000 people have been just racking it up with the team builder fantasy packs and selling those team builders by doing them getting those 83s and 80s cheap um you can see behind my head probably for the set requirements good one take a look see if it's still working i'm not going to go through it again because i've already done that i think i did that you know I've, I've talked about that a few times and i hate doing the same content over and over for same sets um, so limited uh, legends when they come out like i talked about in previous weeks definitely look at them when they come out over the weekends um if you can make them cheaper than you sell them because that's you know it holds pretty good for a couple hours and a few of them depending on the legend we get um the mvp set was paying off too we talked about that i believe in our video if not our video then our twitch stream um uh, when, when that came when the the 50 when the day of the 50 that came out um so when the series changeover and the upgraded pack odds but there was a huge market crash right there was a ginormous market crash this past weekend. Market is up very slightly from then. Uh, let me let me show it to you guys in a second. We can just log on here, right here, there, and then uh, boom. So market uh, at least like 82s were about like it was like under 11k. I was finding. Obviously, you can find these things sniped at a lot lower. I always do unfiltered to kind of like give a an over like an overview of like what you should kind of kind of sell at because these are the unfiltered prices. Uh, but of course, there are other things you can sell at too with other filters that people are going to look at to buy on. So anyways, solid overall. Market's up very slightly over the weekend, but still kind of down. I mean, when you looked at this last week, if you look at, if you go back and look at Market Monday last week, these prices, like not quite double, but I mean, market dropped like 40%. Some In some cases, 50% on some cards. So it was a huge drop. This is what I'd like to call one of those like Madden 15, 16 era drops which we just saw and fully predicted by your boy saying hey you know what when when series come over market crashes so 
kind of awesome, right? We predicted that and the Legend crash, and we said, you know, Legend packs usually do it, so we didn't know which day was a good day to buy because the first day after series change, Legend packs are also juiced, and people are like, oh my god, my packs are juiced. It's like, yeah, because they raised the price or they raised the odds on them. Um, so cool, right? And so what I did is I spent a lot of coins this weekend buying cards. Somebody spent had like I don't know millions invested. I got a couple. Oh wait, sorry. I got, I think, a couple million worth of cards I bought over the weekend to invest in. I'm sell, sell day is Wednesday now. It used to be like Monday, Tuesday, but so definitely Wednesday, especially if we get a cool ass wild card Wednesday. The wild card Wednesday is like the best thing for the game right now. I don't want to hear any negativities about it. It's great for people that are smart. If you're watching this, you're smart as fuck. You're literally the most genius person in the world because you know when there's new cards that come out of these re roll sets brings the market up because people want training to re-roll new cards new contents only available through this stuff oh my god that's so good for the market i love that weekly cycle. i i it is my that weekly cycle is literally my kink right now i don't know if anything sexier than economic swings <laughs> call me a swinger also call me Sponsored by Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Yeah, I felt like a huge jackass not doing that sponsorship this morning. I nailed that one, though. Um, so I gave him a sponsorship on uh, Twitch stream today. Damn, that was bad. I'm getting I'm getting bad. Like I screwed up earlier. Anyways, that swing is huge. Vesting cards over the weekend. Generally, just like 82, 84, 86, 83, 82, 83 through like 88, 90, whatever you can buy cheap, resell during the week, during a training, the training rush on Wednesday. So that should stay fine. Anyways, the biggest thing that I want to talk about, right? The big money maker that you should be doing now, definitely should be doing now. I just want to review this stuff. Sorry for like burying the lead on the most important thing. Um, and, and we'll talk about other things after this. But the gap player method, it is phenomenal with a little bit of tweak, right? There's been a little tweak. I talked about a little today on the street. So stream. So you buy these 62 player packs, which are spitting out golds from what I've heard. There's a power. All right, this is fucking useless. Maybe save your chub. Maybe get another one. Down the road. All right, that one's fucking useless. I need a card that goes into a set. But I heard from people that they're spitting out golds at a pretty decent weight. Now, even if they spit out silvers, you're still going to have to use the upgrade set. So you add to the silver exchange set. I don't know. I, I kind of want to do this video without doing like a whole exchange, but... I'll pull, a, I'll pull a couple cards here to get a player packs. So you do this, and then you exchange through very specific exchanges. And the 50 program is god tier for this. And it's not spitting out golds like I said. It's like, oh yeah, it's spitting out golds. It's a great job. Anyways, all right. So you get your silvers. You then exchange them, those and the golds. And I'll show you the sets. The raw sets. We love to have because we're naughty boys. So anyways, then you go through... You go through the Superstar MVP set and you exchange the 370, 74. All right, that one doesn't matter. What, what the hell one is looking at? You exchange. Wait, why did I fuck this up? I always get these things fucked up. I'm so fucked up right now. All right, ignore everything I just said for like the last minute. You go through the. Why am I having so much trouble right now remembering what I'm doing? Dog, am I am I seriously that dumb? Is it at this set? No, it's not. Team of the week? Legends? Let me find this goddamn thing. There's a set, you know, the regular gold exchange sets are I almost feel like starting this video over. But I'm not going to cuz I'm a little bitch. And, all right, gold exchange set. You want to go low gold to high gold. Was I right? All right, low gold exchange. Yeah, I was right. Why was I second guessing myself? So you go low gold, so you exchange them 76 to 78 gold superstar MVP player. Why did I second guess myself? I don't know, dudes. I don't know. That's It's like something in life, right? If you think you got it, just fucking go with it. Because people respect confidence. But anyways, you, you see this player exchange pack. You see how it takes 470 to 74 to get a 175 to 79? 
Don't do that. You go through superstar and the exchange up, superstar MVPs when you're pulling those gaps, make it into a 76 to 78 overall gold MVP player. All right, because then we take this card, and yeah, sure, you won't have a shot at, say, like the best ones, like Tyree Kill Power Up, which is really cool. But I think overall, you'll be a lot more consistent making coins. Then you get a 76 to 78 overall superstar MVP. You take this card, you add it to the set of the fresh player, 81 overall. And then when you have enough of those, wait for it. When you have enough of those exchanged, let's I'll just I'll just do it right here. Uh in the 50. You add all these golds, okay? And of course you'll pull some of these golds out of packs, whatever. But anyways, once you do this, you have enough of these high golds or whatever, you get your superstar MVP cards, whatever. Um let's add Zach DK. I like DK. He's a good player. It's too bad that Seahawks got him right in front of Oh, we got was that James Watt? Was it Deontay's draft or James Washington's draft that DK went right before him? I forgot who they drafted that year. Anyways, I like Deontay. Washington ain't bad, but DK is a fucking beast. Anyways, once you get your 81 overall fresh player, you then sell him on the block, okay? Because they're going for a ridiculous amount. They're going for like 22K. So basically, you can either sell your high golds or just exchange them because you're going to be doing this, this set a lot. So that's why I like it better selling the, the, the gold, the 81s. Because you can do it a lot more. You don't have to, like once you put up twenty golds on the market, it takes a while for them to sell. So I prefer just an exchanging one because these eighty ones sell quicker, and you can do more of them. So it's a lot easier to get through all the gap packs doing this exchange method. So do you understand what I'm saying? You get your silvers, you exchange them up to golds. You or sorry, you get you exchange them up to superstar MVPs. Take your superstar MVPs, put them into the fifty set, and then you keep rushing like that through the get a player pack method. It is great. People are making coins. Um, and it looks like the market's going to be stable, right? Because those, those, those Mutt 50 players or Madden 50 players, they are well wanted. Definitely a great idea to how to get coins without having to like play the game and, and grind seasons or draft. Draft strategy, we've talked about that one in the past. You can do that too, but not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to go through and just like pull gaps first and then go through the exchange sets afterwards instead of doing what I'm doing right here, which is like putting in the set as I get them. Of course, sorry, one little tip I want to show you here. It's just pressing down twice to gap is, is better than pressing over and then down a few times. So here it is, sweet. We pull the gold, and then you just add to set, superstar, MVP, add to set, go on and so forth and so on, and you will make coins. It is a bit of a grind, but everything in this game is a grind. It's either time or money, uh, just like life, right? If you want money, you got to put time in. If you want time, you got to pay for black market organs. All right. Anyways, I want to talk about overall market dynamics with the 50 coming out. So the, we, we have our weekly schedule for you know tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday now is content the only days without content are sundays and mondays so they're kind of stable days and I, i'm fine with the schedule right five out of seven days with content and mutt dog this is peak dude right i, I mean maybe peak will be like christmas time those are always more fun but this is great right so we got weekly content we got our weekly cycle we got everything going on this is this is this is mutt season boys so with team of the week tomorrow, Wednesday is the re-rolls and the flashback wildcard Wednesday, whatever they come out with. Thursday is the limiteds. Friday is the 50. Now, what does the 50 do, right? It brings up three new God tier cards. We saw what they brought out with the 50, basically cards that are top of their positions. You know, you get the best receiver in the game added. You had Dawkins, who's one of the top safeties. Nandi, one of the top corners. Derek Brooks, who sucks, but is kind of the best drop corner, drop linebacker in the game. Reggie White, who's one of the best. Walter Jones, one of the best. Maybe even the best. Jimmy Graham's kind of up there. Calico Bush is, you know, right there with um, Barry as one of the top two running backs there. So, got to your card. So, the demand is. So, then, like, do you want to hold your fresh players? Now, there, there's two schools of thought here. You could hold them and then put them into the set right when they go live and sell off, right? Because these power-ups were going for, not, for a phenomenal amount. All right, and that's not a bad idea. 32 of them. Do I think they go up when they first come out? I don't know, because we'll be playing them out of packs. We're going to play a shit ton of packs when they come out. Like last week, they went down to 10K right when they came out. And, and maybe they won't go down that low again because we know about it now, so more people will be investing at that rate. But I think like buying and selling right away, you know, being one of the first ones out there is not a bad idea. The problem is, and we'll see after this week what's going to happen, but 
It says week one on this. Maybe it'll be week two. I don't know if there will be. Because you know how they say in the stack Dawkins. And then there's fresh cards. They could totally use like a different advertising word. Like exchange your 81 overall uh, 30 minutes or less player. Right? Instead of a subway ad, it becomes like a fucking pizza delivery ad. It's for next one. Next week. So you can't save them. I would imagine you could save them though. I would imagine this week's cards goes into next week's sets. But you never know. EA could pull a, pull a fast one. You could you know, lose. So I'm not really investing in them. I think there's better things to do with your time. Well, investing isn't that much. But coins to invest in and hit the weekly cycle, that kind of shit. But that's my thoughts on that. Um, definitely probably worth it to be one of the first ones out there. But uh, save up to hope that the, uh, they go up in price is not something I'm doing. The power-ups themselves are super expensive. Now, EA, when they see power-ups that are expensive and they're coming out weekly... Last year, they hit us with a solo. Was that NFL 100 or Mutt 10 players? One of them, they hit us with a solo. So I'm definitely not investing in, in Mutt 10 cards or Madden 50 cards. Sorry, I keep getting uh, the 50 cards. Power-ups. Because it just feels like it's it's a danger market. And it's something that EA sees their players really get pissed about. And there's really no benefit to EA for those being really high in price. Um, so let's do like... Um, Calico's. Let's do... We're going back to Cali. Calico's power-up is... Uh, 250,000 coins. So, it's good to do a set, right? This card itself... Wait, 81, 81, 81. So, like, Calico's set right now is straight profit, right? 32 times 20 is 600-something. And you could sell it for 700k between the two. So, uh, maybe it's not straight profit. If you do the solos, it is if you buy some more. But it's not bad, right? Calico right now because he's so expensive on the power up in the car. But I'm not holding. I'm not holding that. It's to the point where I'm like, dude, should I get rid of Calico just because he's so expensive? I can't because, dude, bench press is wild out here right now. Dude, this meta is so bad for dive and, and stretch. But EA will hopefully patch bench press and maybe we can pass the ball a little bit more, but we need some run stopping abilities. If they all the good abilities are against the pass, and I hate it. Anyways, that's not today. That's Market Monday right now. That's kind of my thoughts, right? Power ups, not great investments for them, um, because EA could drop some solos going forward for power ups. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's it. I thought I think that helps you, right? I gave you a great method to make coins with the fifty cards. And it doesn't look like that's going to go away because of how in demand those cards are. So the set pieces are going to stay valuable. Um, totally the thing that you might want to get on with the listing it right away portion of the Mutt 50. Um, take a look at the sets that I talked about. And, uh, you know, the weekly cycle that's making a lot of investors a lot of coins. But we'll see if, if too many people hop on that. That cycle won't be as pronounced. And uh, it'll be less coins for everybody. So uh, do what you want. Anyways, that's the video. Hope you guys like Market Monday. Hopefully you guys are liking the Monday Night Football game tonight. About to turn it on and have ourselves a nice night of football. Take it easy, dudes.